please stand for the invocation offered by Jacksonville Police Detective Bob Garbett. Remember those of our brothers and sisters who have fallen in the line of duty. We pray for your peace and comfort to be upon their families. And Lord, we also want to lift up our brothers and sisters who are currently serving and pray your hand of protection to be upon them. You tell us in your word that righteousness exalts a nation, and we pray that hearts would be turned to you, Lord, and that uh, we would live in a season where the news of our fallen warriors would be few and far between. We pray now your presence among us as we gather here today, and we again thank you for all that you've done for us, and it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Please remain standing for the presentation by the Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services Honor Guard. Our national anthem is sung by Patrol Officer Victoria Longale. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rockets rattling the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. You may now be seated. Please welcome Chief Mike Yanero, Director of Public Safety. It's truly an honor here to be here with you today to celebrate the lives of these officers who've made the ultimate sacrifice. I'd like to recognize uh, Terry Lanier's sister and uh, his uh, nephew who have come to join us. Are there any other family members here? But this is about the legacy that they leave behind. So on behalf of the Jacksonville Police Department and our law enforcement community, we have uh, Chief Lindig here, Chief Jackson, Sheriff Miller, Sergeant Oglesby, Lieutenant Colonel Young from PMO, um, representing our community, not just the city of Jacksonville, but our community. So I'd like an opportunity to welcome everybody here and to thank everybody because I think it's so important that we 
continue to remember this ultimate sacrifice. Please now welcome City of Jacksonville Mayor Pro Tem Michael Lazara. Good morning. On behalf of Mayor Sammy Phillips and the Jacksonville City Council and our citizens today for this important event, the mayor is recovering from some eye surgery and was unable to join us today and he sends his regrets. This is one event that he looks forward to every year and, and he really uh, was remiss on being here today. So please accept his condolences on not being able to be here today. With us today are Jacksonville City Council member uh, Jerry Bittner is with us today from our county. We have Vice Chairman uh, Paul Buchanan and his wife June. We have uh, Jack Bright, Commissioner Jack Bright and his wife Robin. Welcome this morning. And is Commissioner Millionaire Williams? I think she was scheduled, but I don't see her. Anyways, welcome this morning and thank you for taking time out to be with us today. When the mayor stands here at this annual observances, he wears two hats. One as a mayor and one as a former law enforcement officer. I stand here this morning with pride, humility, and a sense of duty to honor peace officers who are no longer with us. In doing so, we also honor those who work each day to maintain peace, to solve community problems, and keep our community safe. Today we mourn those who are no longer with us. For the city of Jacksonville, the mayor, and other former officers, we remember the energy of Officer Terry Lanier. They remember the wisdom of Detective William Whitehead. As a community, we remember them for their ultimate sacrifice in service to our city and community. To the families of those who have lost loved ones in service to peacekeeping, we say thank you. We mourn your loss and celebrate the lives of those who work to be positive influences in our community. It is our duty to hold this day sacred. It is our duty to thank those that no longer are with us for their work and their lives given in the line of duty. It is our duty as citizens to hold this date special for law enforcement. It is your duty to spread the memory of these officers to the public. To new officers and to those who come behind us, for each year special challenges rise to be met by peace officers. In this changing world, this special time to pause and reflect is precious bittersweet, and it is required in order that our society continues to work and improve. I thank those who have gathered here this morning and those who will watch the ceremony later. Each of you are a part of our effort to remember and honor those peace officers who are no longer here to serve. I leave you with the challenge of remembering, honoring, and pondering. This community has taken the mantle of this particularly for sacrifices made by the military. Let us hold sacred, special, and as a proud duty to remember, to give honor, and to reflect on these sacrifices. Thank you for joining us this morning. God bless you. We now welcome our keynote speaker, Judge Paul A. Hardison. Judge Hardison was elected to the bench in 1990 and re-elected multiple terms. He received his undergraduate degree and his law degree from North Carolina Central University. Judge Hardison was in private practice in Onslow County from 1984 
until 1990 and was elected to the Onslow County Board of Education. He has served as the chief district court judge for the fourth judicial district since 2014. Please welcome Judge Hardison. Good morning to Chief Yanira, Director of the Jacksonville Public Safety Department, to Sheriff Hans Miller, the Sheriff of the Onslow County Sheriff's Office, to other elected officials, distinguished guests, family members, friends, and ladies and gentlemen. It's both with an honor and humility that I speak to you today on this memorial occasion. Today, we are here to pay tribute to the local, state, and federal law enforcement officers who have served and protected with courage and dedication. Remember those officers who have died in the line of duty and have given the ultimate sacrifice in that service. I was reading an article where Chief Yanero said, this, this day is an observance that allows us to remember the heroes who laid down their lives in pursuit of safer and more just society. These brave officers dedicated and devoted themselves so fully to others to serve and protect that in the process, they were willing to give their lives. The scripture tells us none of us lives to himself and none of us dies to himself. But it further goes on to tell us that greater hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. This memorial must always honor the sacrifice of those lost and ensure that those individuals who have served this community well will always be recognized and remembered and never forgotten. You've heard the names of some from the Jacksonville Public Safety Department, Detective Whitehead, Officer Lanier, and you will hear about others that are listed. Captain Scantlin from the Sheriff's Department Office, De Deputy Boehm from the Sheriff's Office, Deputy Van Barber, and I'd like to add someone that I knew well and worked well with, Deputy Steve Black. These officers put themselves on the lines of the fight to preserve the quality of our communities and protect one and all. They exemplified the very idea of citizenship, that with our God-given right comes responsibilities and obligations to others and ourselves. They embodied that idea. That's the way they died. That's how we must remember them, and that's the way they lived. To the families here today, we can never repay the debt to you that these officers provided. And I say to the family members, though your hearts may still ache sadness and secret tears still flow, what it meant to lose your loved ones in a way no one will ever know. So keep your heads up high with your hearts still strong, and then you will find you can never go wrong. So today we must do what we can do with all that we have, and that is to live our lives in a way that pays tribute to their memory. That does not end today with the names carved in stone. It is hoped that all will know them and their legacy will endure through generations to come. We are grateful to them for their service. We want those gathered here today to know that these officers have inspired our city, our county, our state, and our nation. And for that, we are profoundly honored and proud. So today, let us remember, not just for how they died, 
but also for how they lived and what they died for. To the fallen officers, we say to you, sleep on and take your rest. We all loved you, but God loved you best. And today we ask that God bless these fallen officers, their loved ones, their families, friends, and all of you who have gathered here today under the sound of my voice. And may God bless Jacksonville, North Carolina, Onslow County, North Carolina, and the United States of America. God bless you. We encourage you now to join us in a moment of silence for those who have lost their lives in the line of duty. This is followed by sirens and a gun salute and honors. Inspector Robert James Bowling, North Carolina License and Death Bureau. Patrol Officer Anthony Mosiah, Cherokee Indian Police Department. Deputy Jerry Barber, Onslow County Sheriff's Office. Deputy Stephen Bame, Onslow County Sheriff's Office. Officer Terry Lanier, Jacksonville Police Department. Special Agent Brett McKee, Naval Criminal Investigative Services. Captain Jerry Scantling, Onslow County Sheriff's Office. Detective William Whitehead, Jacksonville Police Department. Officers, we thank you for your service. 
Clear reference 1042. This concludes our 2016 ceremony. Thank you for attending.